Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, welcome to my channel. My name is Haley, and I'm a current Peace Corps volunteer serving in the health sector in Cameroon 2018 to 2020. Um, for this video, I decided to talk a little bit about site placement and site visit. Um, I don't know how it is for every country. I'm sure they do things differently um, based on videos that I've seen from other people posted on YouTube. They definitely do things differently. <laughs> um, but in Cameroon, um, during pre-service training, I think normally you get your site week five or six. I know for the volunteers before me, they got their site before they had the site visit because some people they sent up to the region where I am uh, had to learn a little bit of Fufude before they went, so they got to do that. Um, so for us, I had to do things a little bit differently. For starters, we had a site visit before site placement. And in Cameroon, Peace Corps Cameroon, you don't always go to the site that you're actually going to be at or near the site that you're actually going to be at. Um, I know other countries will send you to your site. Like if you're replacing a volunteer, you visit that volunteer. If you're opening up a site, they'll like, um, I think I remember someone saying they were with a host family for like a week or two during their site visit. Uh, Cameroon doesn't do that. Um, instead, sometimes I send you, at least in the same region, um, and sometimes I don't, for, they normally send, if someone is going, so my region is Adamawa, and we're the furthest north region, if someone's going, that volunteers can go to, if someone's going to the Adamawa, they typically, like, for their site, for, like, for post, um, they typically for site visit will send them to the Adamawa. However, when we were doing our um, site visit, there was elections happening in the country, so they just wanted to keep us all close because to get to the Adamawa, it's an overnight. It's it's a long, a very long journey. Um, so I went to the Littoral, which is a completely different re region. It's so different from the Adamawa. But it was really nice like getting to go to a different region um it was beautiful but basically for site visit you for cameroon it's a week um you get sent to another a current volunteer like someone who at that point is basically at their about to start their second year um in your health in your sector so for me i visited a volunteer named david um he was in the health sector i visited we had everyone except i think except for one girl in ag had at least one other trainee that they were going to visit so i went with gabby and we went and visited david david works at kind of like a big hospital and he's in the rural so he's at a pepfar site um, so his main focus is HIV AIDS, so we kind of got to see him. He was gearing up toward World's A Day in a massive testing campaign that he was going to do. So we got to, like, see how that works. We got to meet with various different counterparts. We got to see a bit, a little bit of literal. We got to see, like, um, how he works. It's so that you can see kind of what you'll be doing when you get to post or something you could be doing just day in the life of a volunteer um which is really cool because you're at pst and you're getting all this stuff and you're like all this information you're like okay but what am i what am i actually doing with it like how is this actually going to work out and like being able to go to site visit and actually seeing that is really nice um i know i've seen for different countries they'll just you'll be the only one and you'll be at your actual site that you're going to be at, like, just kind of learning everything. They don't do that for Peace Corps Cameroon. Um, many different reasons. A lot is because your site, you might not speak the language, you know? Um, for example, at my site, the main language is Fulfude. So, I don't speak it. That's why the volunteers, well, not really. That's why the volunteers before and possibly the volunteers after if they do site visit in Adamawa, they figure out their post beforehand so they can start learning for through day. Um, and then for site placement. So I don't know 
how it is for every country. I don't I don't even know how it is for within my country for ag and education. But the way the health sector works is when so Sylvie is our PM and she's a program manager for the health sector and basically through conversations with you through work like through your resume from like how she's seen you from what other like um Peace Corps staff in fact like in fact they have said about you um she determines where she thinks you'd be placed um what would be best for you so I asked her because my site host David suggested asking um why she chooses to put you where she puts you so I asked her and she said she looks at like how I'm more quiet and then she wants it so she automatically I think with that thinks the Adamawa because the region is a lot more quiet more conservative it's very different from the rest of the country um more conservative more quiet um not too many men are deranging you or bothering you um and then so she looks at it that first to see what region to put you in and then she determines afterwards like what post because she wants to make sure you and your counterpart will work well together my counterpart is also a very quiet man um but he's very passionate about the work he does he's very willing to work with you like he's he's an awesome dude um so she looks at that i don't know how the other pm for um agriculture or for education i don't know how they determine who's going where or anything but that's how sylvie does she looks at basically who you are and what she's heard from other people and how like how you act to determine where she thinks you'll be happiest um and what site will work best with you and what counterpart you'll work best with so she some people she knows like right away like there was one person who like the very first week when we're in the capital and we like we talk to our pm and we talk to our pta which i'm gonna be honest don't know what pta stands for my pta is sylvie i mean is valerie and so he's like right below sylvie so i can go to either one of them um because he's with health so like when we we're talking about our homestay like what type of homestay we want we we talk with them and we talk about a bunch of other stuff and we talk about what kind of posts we want like they ask do you do you want to be more remote how close do you want to be to other volunteers like what do you want and i said i don't i, I said i don't care if i'm more remote as long as like i can see other volunteers um and I said the main thing for me was like security, like a safe village that's been like more well established. And I said I wanted to be a replacement volunteer, didn't want to open a new site. Um, so they take that into account too. And during one of those, I know one of my my friends, she later said that Sylvie told her she knew right away at that that she was going to send her to her village. Um, and sometimes they know right away for the most part they know well before you have your site placement they know where you're going um a lot of times why it takes longer is more because for people who are opening up a new site they're working on finding houses and stuff like that for you and making sure they have all that set up um so it can take a little bit longer for that but they basically have this idea of where you're going and then once you get to get site placement i don't know i don't know if every country does it the same but the way that health for Cameroon decides to do is we get to decide how we want to find out so we did for my stage we did like a like a sorting hat type thing so we called everyone up and then they put the sorting hat on and so they would like a pascal who was like in charge of training would put the training hat on and so they would be like okay like she might tell you right away where you're going. She might ask if you think you know where you're going or whatever. So, like, for me, she's like, oh, you're going to this village. You're placing an awesome volunteer. Um, all this other stuff. Like, she'll just say stuff. She might tell you a little bit about the village. And then afterwards, they, like, have a map of Cameroon up. So then you can go and try to find your village or Sylvia or Valerie or one of the other staff there who might know can help point out where your village should be. Um, and... It's really exciting because then you know where you're going finally they give not everyone got it um i got like a post book which is basically written from the previous volunteer who was at my site there's only been one other volunteer um 
kind of just talks about the site and what to expect and all that. A lot of the newer people who are opening up sites didn't get that and I don't think any ag volunteers got one. Um, but it was really nice to have. So basically then you have, that's week like five or six and then you have like four or five weeks to then if you're replacing a volunteer you can talk to them see if they want you to um, give them money for the stuff in the house or whatever. Um, kind of, they'll, they'll start talking to you, you can ask them for questions that you might have about your village or whatever. Um, Casey made like a Google Doc with a bunch of information about the village and stuff for me and an ag volunteer whenever they get placed here, um, which will hopefully happen this year. Um, they're thinking of placing an ag volunteer in my village, which would be really nice. Um, and then you meet, you get to meet with like your counterpart um, the last week of training you meet with your counterpart um which is really nice and you get to talk to them and you can ask them more questions about your village but basically at least in peace corps cameroon your site placement and your site visit don't necessarily match up and i don't at least from my stage i don't know anyone who actually visited at their site Maybe one person did, but I think most people did not actually visit their site. Um, I think a lot of people visited the region or near the region, but I don't think a lot of people actually visited their site. Um, but that's just Peace Corps Cameroon. Other countries do it differently. Like I said, I know there's other countries in Africa that you'll you'll go to your site um, and you stay there for a week. You'll either visit if you're replacing a volunteer. You'll stay with them. Or you go to your site and you'll stay with like a family or you can bring stuff to put in your house already. Um, but that's not how Cameroon does it and I don't know how other countries, I don't know how the um, Eastern European countries or how the South American countries do it. Um, I just, that's, that's Cameroon. <laughs> um, if you have any questions on site placement or site visit or anything related to Peace Corps, leave it in the comments below. If there's any videos you want to see, let me know. Um, I'll try to make them. If you like this video, thumbs up, your choice, subscribe if you want, whatever. Um, and thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed.